please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how I turned this dollar Walmart water bottle into this. For Madison, it's super, super cute. And then I'm going to show you how I made it. Then I'm going to give you some tips if you want to sell them. So let's just jump right into the video. Let go. So I'm going to be making Madison just a little Halloween water bottle. She absolutely loves Halloween. So I do have my black and orange adhesive vinyl from heat transfer warehouse that i'm going to be using i have a cricut mat i have a coffee filter to clean it off with with alcohol my transfer tape this is from amazon and i have the link in my amazon storefront uh weed here some weeding tools my laptop and of course my Cricut. All right, so these are the materials that I'm going to be using today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out the measurements. And I think I wanna go into a kind of curves because it does curve. I could go further, but I don't really wanna do that. So I think I want it to be about her name when I'm saying it. I think I want her name to be about we could do 4.75 to 5 inches in width. Okay, so I think I want her name to be like 4.75. So it could go right here. So I think I'm going to do 4.75. And then for the height of the letters, I think I want to go 1.5. I think I want to go, I think I want to go 1.5. Okay. And then just to see the measurements like 1.5 for all of the images just so i can see how many i kind of want to put on here okay so that's what i think i'm going to stick with you do want to make sure you clean this off these if you've been watching me you know i use these from the dollar store because or dollar tree or whatever you want to call it because this is actually lint free unlike a paper towel so these are the coffee filters and i got this from the dollar tree as well and then you just want to clean your substrate really good with alcohol and kind of just let it dry okay it looks so much cleaner so let's go ahead and I'll show you the design. We're going to have the Cricut maker go ahead and cut this out. And then we're going to just make this really cool water bottle for her for school. So let okay, We are inside of Cricut Design Space. And you see these lovely SVGs. You could actually use the ones inside of Cricut. But I am using the ones inside of Creative Fabrica. So let me show you where I got these from. I thought these were really, really cute for Madison. So this is the Halloween SVG bundle. It's 20 SVGs here. And you can go ahead and I'll leave my Creative Fabrica link down below in the description. If you're interested in trying it out, you could go ahead and sign up for that. But I'll leave that link down in the description. But this is what I got. What happens is you pay a monthly subscription so you can get whatever items that you want. So I think that's pretty, pretty cool instead of just paying every time you buy something. So anywho, this is where I got the images from. I'm not using all of these, just the ones that I want. And let's get back to Cricut. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add these into my canvas, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add it in my canvas, and then I'm going to figure out which font I'm going to use and get everything together. So these came up really large, so we're just going to make them smaller because remember, I measure, and I only want like 1.5 inches for these. Some could be bigger, some could be smaller, but I kind of want them small. All right, so now I'm going to just separate the ones 
duplicate a couple of them and call it a day okay so I'm gonna move those around but before I do that I'm going to get Madison's name and since you'll probably take this to school I will put Madison instead of Maddie so they can know who she is and then this font is actually nice and crisp and clean actually that's Cricut Sans but I could see if there's another font that I want to use but I actually think I might just use that one nice and crisp don't have to worry about anything hmm I kind of like this one because it's a little bit thicker so actually I will use this Futura LT extra bold this one the brush stroke okay so I will be using this font and then remember I just want it to be about 4.75 maybe so 4.739 and then I'll make this a little bit thicker So now I have the font for her name and then I just want to make sure these aren't too large because the thing is it's curves on here so I don't want them too big. I want it to be you know easy. Okay I think that that is enough. Okay so now I'm going to go to make it. I'm going to select to do this on the mat. Then I'm going to select my second cut and I'm actually going to move it so it can cut on the same mat, okay? For this, I will not mirror the images. I'll see what color I want to put the vinyl for Madison and then for some of the other ones. So I think I'm going to make this orange, this orange, this black. So I think I'm going to make all of this black and then I'm going to make these three things orange so now I know how to lay my vinyl on the mat anything above four between four and six will be black and then anything under four and six will be orange okay I'm going to go to continue and then I'm going to select premium vinyl for this one. I'm going to select more and then let's get to cutting. Now we're going to go ahead and load this into the Cricut Maker. So while it's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and get my transfer tape. And then I'm going to cut this. Okay, so now you could kind of see where it's cut. And like for this one, I want to save that orange so I can cut it off. And I'm going to use a ruler. And cut that excess off. I don't need it and I can just save it and the ruler just make sure that it's really sharp okay I'm gonna start with the black 
and then you just want to peel away this is very very easy to peel but you still want to be careful because look the back came up is really sticky Okay, so I re-cut the bat out. I have everything all set. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do her name first. This is transfer tape. If you don't know anything about transfer tape, this is sticky. I'm going to transfer the vinyl letters onto the tape. And then from the tape, I'm going to put it onto the bottle. Okay, so a couple little steps. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. This is very sticky, so you want to be careful where you put it. I'm going to fold it. They call this the taco method. As you can see, it's folded down in the middle. And then I want to get it as straight on the lines as possible because that's how I know it'll be straight. So I'm kind of putting, I'm kind of going to put it like on that line, the red line. Can you see that? So I'm now going to bend it in the middle and then... Press the tape down and that did it really good. Then I'm going to take the squeegee and then I'm going to make sure that it's stuck on here. Okay, so I'm just making sure all the letters are stuck on here and then I'm going to remove the transfer tape. Everything came off beautifully. See that? Now I'm actually going to grab something. Okay. So I made this a while ago and I made this just for times like this. Okay. You could actually search the video because I have a video of how I actually made it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put this down here and I'm going to just turn it to the side and then I'm going to put this on, okay? So now I'm going to go in the middle, make sure that I have enough space, okay? Then I'm gonna go down in the middle and lay it down. Once I have it where I like it, it was so smooth, y'all. And so what we're doing is the adhesive that's on the back of the vinyl, we're hoping that it sticks to the cup okay and you want it to stick to the cup the first time all right so i'm gonna turn this way so you can see it and then you see that it's on there really really oh it's so cute oh it's so cute okay now you can reuse this so i'm going to be reusing this so i'm just going to cut it and see the lines are really good for measuring okay so i'm just going to bring this down here place it on top of all of those okay it can fit on top of all of those i'm going to save this one all right, I'm literally just going to place this one on top of it. Pull it up. And figure out the placements that I want to put, where I want to put it. And then that's it. It looks so cute. Madison is going to absolutely love this. 
and I absolutely love it. I think it came out super cute. You can add some more if you want it. You can add little things. You can add whatever you want. But I think this is perfect for the look that I was going for. And I think it's just super cute. Halloween-y. It's literally adorable. So as far as selling, you can actually sell these for birthday parties, for gifts for teachers i could have done some for her teachers you can use these for anything so that's what i like about it it's very very versatile and you can do a lot of things with it and y'all these were actually one dollar from walmart okay they are one dollar so just think about how much money you can make by making these and then selling them so that's definitely something that you may want to think about go pick you up some grab some and have fun crafting okay happy crafting so it came out so cute do we love it drop an orange heart or a heart down below if we love it i think it's so cute so a lot of people always ask me about pricing pricing is something that you guys kind of want to think about how much it costs to make how much so we'll talk about the actual tumbler was or the water bottle was one dollar think about the vinyl think about how long it took you to actually make it so depending on what you feel that you're worth you could sell this anywhere between depend and depend on how much of a profit you want to get so you could sell these anywhere between seven to ten dollars each if you wanted to because pricing is so tricky I did stop and I went to Etsy just to see what they were selling for and I saw the exact same water bottles anywhere between five dollars and fifty cent to some as high as sixteen dollars now in my opinion sixteen dollars is a little bit too high because the quality of these bottles is not like top of the line but once again you determine your price and you determine your worth and what type of profit that you want so this is why pricing is always a little tricky because it really is up to you and up to your customers and what they're willing to pray for, pay for the products however because the quality of the bottles i'm not about to charge 25 dollars for it so that's just my personal opinion but so that's all i'll say about that for this one but yeah y'all and that's a please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group crafty queen dreamer follow me on instagram do dream one is the handle tiktok do dream one is the handle and i love y'all did y'all know that i think y'all knew that anywho y'all be safe i'll dig it here bye for your time please like share and subscribe bye